Should the Patriots not start Drake May this season because they don't want to be the New York Jets because they're living no. in fear of being the Jets? No. By the way, that's Connor Hughes talking with Tommy Curran. Uh, no, I don't think that's a good reason to do that. I don't. And I think that, like, the mental makeup of the quarterback is a big part of this. Like, I know that confidence can be impacted no matter who you are, but sure, if you have a tough quarterback, play the kid. If you have a quarterback who's not that tough of a quarterback, <clears throat> Zach Wilson, don't play the kid. You know what I mean? Is wasn't there kind that, of a what, difference there? Wasn't that one of the strengths coming into the draft that they liked uh, Drake May's toughness? Yes. That they showed they showed multiple uh, videos of him taking hits as he's throwing. So if if you hit a point where Jacoby Sillings not going to be much much more than what you see, he's made some nice plays through two games, but he also – Shows that he's not going to elevate like like a top tier guy, and elevate other guys around him. So at some point you got to decide when this is, and he's not killing you right now. Jacoby is not killing you right now, so you still have time here with May to get him the reps, to get the thirty percent, to do whatever the hell visual reps you want to do with him, and coach him, talk to him. You know what's what's the interaction like on the sideline? Are you hearing the play? What are you looking at here? Uh, what's the coverage? Give me the coverage. Like, there should be a guy in his ear. T.C. McCartney should be with him, quizzing him on some stuff. Um, just so he just doesn't hang out and watch games on the sideline. 617-779-0985. McCone has something before we go to the phone. I think I'm a week one guy now. I, I, I don't know if I want to play him. Don't, don't the Jets quarterbacks actually kind of show you that it's not just about the mental makeup. Like, Geno Smith is a functional quarterback in the NFL now. Sam Darnold, through two weeks, I know, looks like a functional quarterback but that belongs in the NFL. Like, I, I do think there's some – because I used to think the same thing. If he can play, he's going to figure it out, and if he can't, he's, he's going to suck. So just throw him out there and get him the reps. But now you got Caden Wallace starting at left tackle on a, a line that's already been a disaster. You have no wide receivers. Okay, but I just hold think on. you're setting this kid up to fail. Okay, but, but let me ask you this. If it were Geno Smith or Sam Darnold, who, you like both of those guys. They're functional quarterbacks. So the risk of playing the guy now is he may only turn out five years from now to be a functional quarterback? No, I think that right now you have you run the risk of, 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 of completely ruining this kid, him needing a fresh start, moving on. Were Smith and Darnold ruined? They were for that organization. They okay, were never going to be the quarterback ceiling, for that though? organization. But what's their ceiling? Top 15 quarterback for Geno Smith. So if that's the only risk is that the Jets missed out on a top 15 quarterback, on a guy who's, we'll put, we'll put 15th, okay, in the league right now. And that's all he's ever going to be. He's not going to be any better than that. Last week we were talking about which team would you rather be. And I was saying I'd rather be the Patriots because they have a shot with Drake May, and I'm sorry, but Geno Smith is never going to win you a Super Bowl. So that's what you're worried about? Not being able to lock down the middle-of-the-pack quarterback? I just think right. it, sh it shows you that there's a, there's a chance that the kid's not going to reach his full potential if you rush this thing okay. and put him in a situation so where he's Gino not going to be successful. So did Geno Smith and Sam Darnold miss out on the chance to be a star in the NFL? Were either one of those guys not a star, a star, but they did not maximize so their potential? So who cares? Because Drake May has a higher ceiling than and Sam Darnold might and be. And you would have said case. the Gino same Smith. thing about those guys when they were drafted. You would have said the same thing as they were saying in New York that Geno Smith or Sam Darnold, right, were going to be potential stars. It turns out. They were good enough to hang around, and then they proved they were, were never going to be potential stars. They just weren't that guy. And I think that's I what it's both. proven. So it's like, oh, if at some point you're going to move off the quarterback because it didn't work out with your team, let's call it Mac Jones turns into a functional quarterback and is the 15th best quarterback in the NFL. Did the Patriots really miss out on anything that they couldn't replace? No. Did the Jets miss out on anything they couldn't replace by Geno Smith going elsewhere? Did they no. miss out on anything by moving on from Sam Darnold? No, like those guys are fine. They're functional, fine, functional quarterbacks. Those were not franchise altering guys. That's what it came down to. But what if he can and be Zach like Wilson a... was never cut out Fair. for this league, yes, ever, yeah. Right. And 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 you know what? Starting him, you only got to that realization sooner. You figured that out sooner rather than later. Look, I mean, there's a part of it that you're right. You just kind of speed up the process with Mac Jones and find out that the kid mentally doesn't have what it takes to be a, a legit starting quarterback in the NFL. So I, I agree with you there. I just think, man, putting that kid in the spot right now with no offensive line, no receivers, uh, you're just setting the kid up to fail. 
Yeah, that's that's okay. Like failing in year one is okay. He doesn't need to succeed in year one. And, got, and it, what you got you got you got to take the uh, take the bubble wrap off at some point. Like everybody's so worried about him getting hurt, him getting hurt, or or imploding. Like that's the only way you're going to learn is playing. Like, I don't want to see him miss the whole year. And working on the assumption that the offensive line is going to be dramatically better and that the receivers will be so much better in 2025, I think is something you're talking yourself into that you shouldn't. Because they've been trying to find receivers and offensive linemen for four years. And all those guys that are in the front office, they all worked here the entire time. So they're in charge. They're calling the shots now. But they've all worked here. They're not new. And this offseason, when they knew it was a desperate need... When it was hitting a really critical point, they got a guy who quit football after 12 snaps. <laughs> so uh, forgive me for not thinking that they're overly qualified to actually, I don't know, do their job next off season. And their, their big plan to land the free agent wide receiver was off from the second most money. Those are just facts. Those are, those are unfortunate facts that they can't get around. True. So I'm not holding out hope that they're going to have a big 180. Over the next couple, uh, over the next several months, going into the off season, or sorry, the several months over the course of the next off season, so that a year from now they're just so much better. You think they're going to turn into the Dallas Cowboys by next September? <laughs> I mean, not. what are you really hoping for? What are you thinking is going to be on that offensive line next year? You think it's going to have a complete turnaround? You're going to get a tackle. You're going to get a tackle in the first round. Sure, yeah. You told me that last year at this time that they were going to get a tackle. Well, you took the quarterback. I didn't know that the only place to get it was in the first round. That the only well, qualified guys who can play the position are in the first round. No, you can find I, it in the I, second I, round. Yeah, you could. Sure you could. 